Yes guys and welcome to RG Handhelds once again. Today we're checking out the uh, family pocket device uh, uh, or its other name called the FC3000. This is the version 2 uh, with IPS. There's also a version 1 floating around with IPS and then there's you got the non IPS versions which are quite old but this is the newer one. Uh, I will put a link in the video. It's a cool device in, in its own way because uh, it allows you to put the uh, BitBoy uh, Pocket Go firmware on it. That's why I think it's popular and worth a mention uh, and worth a review. Uh, I will put the link in my Discord where we have a channel for this. And also I can link the firmwares uh, so, so you can actually download them. I've got the uh, guy who uh, made the firmware uh, to remove all the ROMs and everything on there. Uh, so you're going to have to add your own games guys, but uh, the base custom firmware will be there in the links. Uh, so let's go ahead and check it out. It's type of a, a NES uh, clone type device. Just quickly looking at the box here guys, you can see there at the bottom. Family pocket. It's not a, not a bad little box to be honest, quite nifty little box, the usual. And there you go. So quickly getting on and cracking on. Here we go, just slow down. Um, while we're doing this actually, I just want to mention quickly, uh, so the specs are very similar to the Pocket Go that you all know, the old uh, Pocket Boy, uh, Bit Boy devices. Screen coming in at three inch on here, uh, 320 by 240 IPS screen. Uh, CPU is the uh, M900, uh, that's the F1C100S. Um, GPU, there's no GPU. RAM, we're coming in at 32 megabyte, same as a Pocket Go. Uh, storage is via micro SD card. Uh, batteries, uh, around about 950 milliamp, maybe 1100. Uh, they do state higher, but I don't think uh, they are actually genuine uh, when they state about 1800 milliamps. I'm not too sure. So looking around the device, guys, um, this is it, uh, so you simply, I want to show you how to take the back cover off first because um, you're going to see a little sign here because there's no screws or anything. You see a little sign like an arrow and what you've got to do is simply just lift it up, simple as that. Uh, that is the back. I wanted to show you this quickly because this is the battery, the classic battery. Uh, see it states 1800, I doubt it very much but anyway uh, it's a decent battery and very easy to get and cheap to buy so I think that's another mention there and another mention is you can run it on AAA batteries as well which I think is very cool uh, so if you got some rechargeables laying around guys uh, perfect and the uh, micro SD card is hidden don't make the same mistake I made and I totally stripped this whole thing down with the screws just to find the memory card and there it is right there, it's sitting right there. All you do is pop it out, uh, flash the custom firmware onto the uh, SD card and away you go. I'm not sure what this is, uh, it doesn't really do anything so it's just for show, I don't know. I've been told it doesn't really do anything. Um, it says 136 game, 130 games on there, but I doubt it very much. Anyway, let's get on with this. Let's pop the battery back in there. And get it on. And to get this back on, all you do is line that up, that slot, and push it back on. Simple as that. I really love the way uh, it's done that. So you got your single speaker here. It's AV out, guys, where you can plug it into the TV. I'm not sure how good the quality is, I doubt it's going to be very good. Micro USB um, down the side here, nothing. Uh, I mean, I wish they made these shoulder buttons a bit better. They're not brilliant, but it gets the job done. The little clicky ones, so nothing special. And you got your volume wheel here and your on off button. I'm just going to boot that up over there, just there, you see. Uh, and that is it, guys. You can see. Uh, the custom firmware has just booted up. This is the custom firmware. And just another similar device, guys. Um, actually, we're getting way ahead here. Before we do anything, I just want to show you what you get in the box. So 
So this is actually uh, the manual, quite a colourful manual. You can see there guys. And what else? You get the uh, micro USB to USB cable. You get the AV cable to plug it into the TV. You get a nice strap here guys. And you also get a pouch. That will be handy. And nothing else. Zilch. So I guess that's better than nothing. Uh, so that is the device and I want to bring in this one. This is the Dingo Dingu A320. Uh, I, I still have one of these, yes. They are very, very old. Uh, just boot up the custom firmware in this. Holding down that start select button. Yes, these are quite hard to get now guys, but I've still got one laying around in my collection. So I, I quite like it because I compare it to this device, even though it's a, more of a bit boy and pocket go, but uh, you know, the size wise and so on um, is reminding me of this beautiful classic device. I absolutely love it. Uh, so I'm just doing this for comparison and it's got a timeout so this is the actual device guys you can see those colors are popping out that viewing angle is beautiful I really was shocked with the viewing I thought it was going to be crap to be honest but I was pretty shocked uh, to be honest at the quality of the device and you can actually dual boot it as well it's like this that's why I compared it to this if you uh, uh, hold down the select button and start it up it will boot up the OS the stock OS which I will show you shortly so let's just get into here and you can see you get the usual uh, stuff uh, like pocket go stuff just clicking through here exactly the same we got all your emulators there as well you can see guys uh, Suppose we could check something out. Do we have any Mega CD? Oh yes we do. Well, let's check out some Mega Drive. Launching Mega Drive. Let's just find my Mega Drive here. Sorry about this guys. Mega Drive, there you go. And uh, just get into something that I know. You know it's going to be Sonic as well. The first one. There you go. Uh, this is Pico Drive, guys, as you all know. I mean, you can see there, it does feel a little bit laggy. Maybe you can overclock the processor to make it run a bit better. But this is the first custom firmware and it will get better, I presume. But I can tell straight away there's a bit of lagginess there in the music. And let's just try and exit out of here. There you go. That was Mega Drive guys, uh, let's see what else, just show you a game or something, let's try some Cannonball. Uh, it's always tricky to start this one because I've done all of the key mappings, the actual key mappings I've done, there you go. But this doesn't seem to be running too bad. Change gear, which is that hidden button here, guys. This is actually a button. I forgot to mention it. So while we're playing, the D-pad feels very firm on this. One thing I noticed straight away: quite firm, and that's quite cool. Uh, I, I don't like mushy D-pads, to be honest. So that's a bonus. The buttons are nice as well, and you can see that hidden hidden button is a menu button. 
that's actually great. So let's get out of this by pressing the two buttons. I think it's a cool device guys, let me know what you think in the video. Um, you know, it's cheap and cheerful, you're looking about £30 on AliExpress, which I think ain't too bad considering the price and what you can do with it. Um, here's your start and select buttons uh, and your, you got your typical uh, A, B, X and Y. This is the menu button guys and your D-pad and your two shoulder buttons L and R. Volume is via here. Um, I'm really digging it to be honest. I have ordered the black and red version because I like it so much I've bought another one uh, purely because of the custom firmware what you can do. Uh, this is my own custom background wallpaper that I put on here. But you got a few emulators on the firmware you can see here. You got everything you could uh, uh, ever want. Uh, you've even got some game and watch guys. I mean, uh, let's just quickly try something. There you go. Not sure how to play it, but <laughs> you can see it looks pretty good on here. Uh, game and watch. Viewing angles are decent as well. Pretty impressed with that. So that is uh, the FC 3000 guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, um, you know it just gives you a quick insight into what this device can do. I will be doing another video once I get my other device uh, and I can show some more emulators or um, you know some gaming, uh, I know they're improving the firmware all the time. Uh, very nice device, size comparison is to uh, the Dingo A320 you can see there. Um, not a bad device, not a bad device at all, I'm digging it. Hope you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and we will see you soon.